Hi. Today we will see the app lifecycle in the Flutter Android. From the libs folder, I have opened the main.dart file. I have removed all the unwanted code which was provided by the Flutter itself. Let's see the code. First of all, we have imported the material.dart library. In the main method, we create the myapp instance. MyApp is the stateless widget of our app where we configure those widgets of our app which are final and won't be changing once they are formed. In short, they are stateless. The stateless widgets have a lifecycle function called, build. Here we build our stateless widget, and this function is called only once per app lifecycle. Here we create a material app and configure the theme of the app. The home attribute, which is the home screen, or the initial screen of our app, is set to the My Home Page class instance. This is the My Home Page class. It is a stateful widget. Here we override a function called CreateState, which creates a state object of this stateful widget. The name of the state class is underscore My Home Page State. We will design our app in this state class. This is the underscore My Home Page State class. This stateful widget has three lifecycle functions, init state, build, and dispose. Init state function is called when this stateful widget and its sub widgets are initiated. This function is called only once when the widgets are created. The dispose function is called when this widget gets destroyed or disposed. The build function is called every time the widgets are formed and or updated. So if a widget, for example, a text view is updated, or a checkbox is checked, etc., then this build function will be called every time. We have called the debug print function in these life cycle methods. Debug print function can be used to plot logs in the logcat. In the build function, we have called the scaffold widget, which is the base of all other widgets that will follow. It's like a canvas, where we will draw our app. Inside the scaffold widget, we have called the center widget, this widget set its child at the center of the screen. In the center widget, we have called the text widget, which is just a text view, that will show the hello world text. As I run the app, and as the widgets get formed, first, we will see the log in the init function, and then in the build function. If we had used multiple screens or pages in our app, and if we navigate from one screen to another screen, we would have seen the log from the dispose function also, which we will not see in this example. Let's run the app. As you can see, the init and build function logs are printed in the log cat. The dispose function logs will be printed when we navigate from one screen to another screen, and the current screen gets disposed. We will see this in one of our upcoming tutorials. Thank you.